Today we're covering silent symptoms that don't sound any health alarms. That is until they've done damage. Skin cancer, the most common type of cancer in the U.S. It's no wonder we get questions all the time about sorting the good moles from the bad ones. Growing up, I was always concerned about having a great tan. I never wore sunscreen, and I even spent time in the tanning bed. I have no history of skin cancer in my family. And a few years ago, a couple suspicious moles popped up. I had a dermatologist remove them, and it was not a fun process. But what I really want to know is if you can tell if a mole is dangerous before you remove it. Sarah's here, to, and to help us answer her question is board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Glennis Ablon. Hello, ladies. Thanks for coming. How silent would you say skin cancer is? Not very silent in the sense that one in 50 Americans today will get melanoma. People do not see it, but it's causing a lot of problems. The longer you wait, if you're diagnosed with malignant melanoma, the more likely it's going to spread to other parts of the body, and it can be truly deadly if you don't find it early. So now you actually have a tool yes. that can help mm -hmm. you out when you're looking at moles like Sarah's to see if maybe it is, a, is concerning for melanoma. It's a tool that's actually 98% a little over 98% sensitivity. So you're not getting a lot of false positives. Less than 2% of the of the ones are missed. So Sarah, you have some moles you're worried about that we can I look at? I have one on my back, this? yeah, and I can't check it myself. Yeah, let's so take a look. This Why don't perfect. we do this? And this is great because you have a better sense for what you should biopsy versus not. Correct, and this is called Melifine. Okay. This is actually rocket science. This is what they used, actually, the original technology was for detecting missiles. And 15 years later, this little gadget here, which started out as a giant supercomputer, is now able to detect the, basically the atypia of a mole or the disorganization of a mole. So we're going to spray some alcohol. Let's take a look at the mole that we talked about. And if you want to turn just a little bit more, we'll talk about this one. We're going to talk about this mole. It's a little bit darker than the rest of our moles okay. and a little bit of a regular edge to it. So we're going to spray the alcohol on there. And we're going to take the machine and focus it in there and take a picture. So what you're doing is you are having a machine that can actually compare this data to about 10,000 other moles and melanomas that were evaluated previously. That's what it does, it actually compares it. And you can see it actually measures down the skin, goes about 2.5 millimeters into the skin at different wavelengths and sees what is abnormal at each wavelength. And you can see how it gets lighter as we go. Is that it a good can sign? Tell you, it depends. It can tell you how deep the mole is. If it's really abnormal, it can tell me if I need to actually do a biopsy and how deep I would need to do that biopsy. Yeah. So let's see what's going on here. And we see low disorganization. See that? And that's good. And that's a that good thing. That is very thing. good. And so, because the more highly disorganized, the more likely those cells are growing right. inappropriately. And so if it said high disorganization, you're probably going to go ahead and biopsy that. Most likely you're going to biopsy safe. that, correct. From Dr. Ablon, as always, a pleasure, Sarah. Thanks yeah. for coming on. We appreciate it.